Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video I will take a look at the caption options found in image based elements like the image, image carousel and gallery elements. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok let's begin. This much requested feature was released back in Avada 7.5 and offers you a wide range of options for the display of both image titles and captions. I've imported the restaurant pre-built site here and I have added an image element to a blank page. Before we add captions, it's best to start with an understanding of where captions come from. I'll just go to the media library and select an image. Here you can see on the right that there are four metadata fields for alt text, title, caption and a description field. For captions, the title and caption fields are used and you can fill these out when you upload your images. But it's also a good idea to fill out the alt text field which shows to the user if the image can't be found. The description field is not used very much. This is the descriptive text that shows up on your image attachment page. In this case, the title and caption metadata fields are populated and it's here the title and caption are pulled from by default. There are also options in the element to override these or add them via the element if they're not there already. Let's take a closer look. If we head to the captions tab, we can see that caption is the only option showing as they are off by default. But here we can see there are seven caption styles to choose from. If I just choose the first one, above, you can see the title and caption that are already in the back end of the file are displayed above the image. And now we can see lots of options. Some of these are dependent on the style, such as the first one of these, which is the title, caption, align option. This is only available for the above and below styles. And here we can control the alignment of the title and caption area. It even has responsive options so you can set alignment independently on medium and small screens. The next two options exist for all styles and are image title and image caption. If you want you can override the existing title and caption here or if there aren't any on the image you set them here. So the title and caption set in the media library are the default values and these two options in the element override them if they are filled in. Following the image title and caption options, there is a range of other styling options to completely tweak the way captions look. There is a full set of typography options for both the image title and the image caption. How you style your title and caption for the above and below styles is completely up to you. The last option here is the caption area margin, which controls the margins around both the title and the caption. For example here I might add 20 pixels top and bottom margin. If I switch the caption to below, the only change is with the position, but the other options have styles attached, so let's go through these. One small thing to note though, is that for all styles other than the above and below styles, the style type and hover type options found on the image element design tab are disabled, as they can conflict with the preset styles. The first of these styles is codenamed Navin. This places a color overlay over the image, and we can see the title is on the image itself. So here when we mouse over the image, the image slides a bit to the right, the overlay disappears, and the title lifts up so there's room for the caption to slide in beneath it. With the on image caption styles, the image itself will largely dictate what colors you will want to set for your title and caption. Ok with this and the other remaining styles, a new option also appears down the bottom to control the overlay color. Each style has an initial overlay default, but with the image overlay color option, you can choose yourself what overlay color to use. The color is already set as an overlay blend, but you can of course still use the global color menu here to add further transparency or color shift etc. Dario is the next style, and this one places the title near the top, and upon mouse over, a border slides in under the title, the caption slides in from the other side, and the overlay darkens. For this style and the next one, another new option is shown to control the caption border color if you want a different color line. The next style is called Racer. It only shows the title and a reduced overlay initially, but on mouse over the title and caption are displayed aligned in the center of the image and a border appears around the inside of the image and the overlay strengthens. Very stylish. Chantel is the next style and this one starts with a subtle overlay and has the title at the top left. And then on mouse over, a zoom in effect is applied to the image, the overlay strengthens, and the caption slides in below the title, this time with a background color. With this style, 
A new option also appears called Image Caption Background Color to control that color. Finally, there is Danny. This adds a subtle overlay and puts the title at the bottom of the image, and on rollover the image and title both lift up and the caption is presented at the bottom on a background color. This option also has the Image Caption Background Color option. OK, so that's the different styles on offer and how the captions work on the image element. Let's now take a quick look at captions with the image gallery. I'll just add the gallery element in the next container and use the bulk image upload option to choose some images from the media library. I'll just control command click to choose a few images here. And then I'll insert them. For this gallery, I think I will just move to the general tab and change the layout to masonry and then we can head to the Captions tab. If I just choose a style, we can see the Caption tab options are almost the same as in the image element, but here of course there are no options to set title and caption, as we are dealing with multiple images within the one element. To override these, or set the title and caption within the element, we need to head to the Children tab and edit the individual items. And here we can find the image title and image caption fields. In this case, None of these images have a caption set in the media library, and so it's only the title that's displaying. When it comes to captions, the image carousel works exactly the same as the gallery element, so check that one out for yourself. OK, that's the Captions tab. Let us know in the comments what you think of it, and which is your favourite style. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, Please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.